It's times like this I want to find Si and give him a hug. I mean, what a waste. He had the world at his feet, really. And a big dark cloud hanging over his head that none of us could see. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Let's change the subject. Oh, we're going to have to phone Eva. Oh, no. I mean, I know it's awful doing things like that on the phone, but what else are we going to do? Yeah, and also, you better be quickly before all them professional mourners start pouring their heart on <laughs> social media. I'll call her. Why are you? Well, well she is a trained counsellor, you know, because it's going to hit Eve hard. And, you know, after all them things that they went through. Yeah. No matter what she said, she loved him. It's the only reason she left Weatherfield, because he was messing with her head. I'm going to call her now. See? Well, what time will it be in America? Oh, well, she'd want me to wake up for this, wouldn't she? Uh, I don't know, kiddie. I don't know. Hey, where'd you go for them nappies, my land? Well, I was on the phone to Eva for ages, and then... You mean crying? It is allowed. I know. Oh, love. So how was she? How did she take it? She's coming back on the first available flight. Right, shall I call her? No, no, she's in a mad dash, and she said she'll catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah, she'll be all over the place, won't she? I worked with this girl from New Zealand once. Her dad died. She couldn't get a flight for hours. I ended up sitting up with her all night. She just rocking back and forth. So far away, it didn't seem real. Hey, at least we've got this little one, eh? Keep us busy. She's gonna need all our love and support when she gets back. Yeah. Good thing is, it gets to meet a little niece. Yeah. You'd put a smile on anyone's face, wouldn't you, eh? <laughs> Thank God we got you.